up guys bringing in another build here this is a 2018 or a 19 ford f-150 xlt sport yeah it's running on a six inch lift and just a comparison there's my truck right there stock f-150 stx and this is what a six inch lift looks like on a uh, 2018 f-150 and these are 35 by 12 and a half 20s uh, these are the Nitto Ridge Grapplers, and look, they look like the wheels are like a fuel assault knockoff. Um, probably, if I'm looking at the offset, it's probably a plus one, or probably like a negative 12 offset. So this is it right here. It looks pretty sweet, uh, and it looks like it has some... Rough Country Vertex Coilovers. And uh, looks awesome. So in the back it has the, uh, those are the uh, N2 or the V2 shocks in the back. And I'm gonna say this is probably a negative 12 offset. It's not too wide. It's got maybe an inch to two inches of poke. Personally, I'd like a little bit more stance kind of hard to see because of the darkness in here this is just the parking garage I don't know whose truck this is but I've seen it and it just got lifted so I wanted to take a quick video of it but I really do like those rims um, if they're definitely they're called the hearts um, I've seen them on custom offsets uh, they're either 20 by 9s or 20 by 10s they could be 20 by 9s because the offset is so minimal um, but the tire size is awesome and these are the Ridge Grapplers. So the Nittos have three kinds. They have the Nitto um, Terra Grappler, which is the G2, the All-Terrain. Then they have the Ridge Grappler and then the Trail Grappler. The Ridge Grappler is like a hybrid between the All-Terrain and the Mud Terrain. And uh, they're brand new tires. I mean, this is this guy did it. It's just brand new because I first saw this truck. There was a, There was no lift on it, and now he's got... A full-on vertex coilover rough country kit that runs you about twenty-seven hundred dollars retail. Those wheels are probably like eighteen hundred, and the tires probably like two thousand dollars. Um, so now the one thing about my truck that this truck has, my truck does not, is it has these fender flares, which give it a like maybe like about another inch of poke in, or half inch of poke. If I walk over to my truck over here, you can see that my truck doesn't have any of the flares. Uh, so therefore, if I go with a wider offset wheel, a more negative, uh, it's going to poke out a little bit more. But all in all, looks really cool. Um, so I can get a... Sorry for the lighting, guys. It's just weird lighting in here since the parking garage. But if I take a step back, that's how it looks. And then this is how my truck looks. Uh, so yeah, I mean... I definitely uh, would like to get the Rough Country kit. I don't think I'm going to do the Vertex coilovers because I think it's a little too much for me. Um, just to, just because of the uh, Rough Country is more of a cheaper kit and I don't know how much of the difference the ride quality is between just the lifted strut versus the actual coilover kit. I'm sure the ride quality is a lot different. Um, this has to be a 9 inch wheel because he did not cut the crash bars here here now that I'm thinking about it so and I don't think he's rubbing at all either probably because the like I said the offset is so minimal uh, so he's probably not rubbing it's probably a nine by a nine wide and just because of that he doesn't have to trim anything or cut anything he still has the lower valence on it and maybe it looks like right here he did they did a little bit of trimming on the plastic but that's about it I don't have that I cut that off but that's pretty much it guys. Looks pretty cool, it looks just like my truck. This is an XLT Sport, mine is the STX. And uh, yeah, I like those wheels. Hearts and uh, 35 by 12 and a half, 20 Nitto Ridge Grapplers. Comment what you guys think about this. This may be a option for me. i definitely go with the 10 wide over the nine wide any day. But if you guys have any questions, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.